Dude, you see how green that other room was back there that we just- What? Uh-oh. Oh, man. <laughs> we woke the devil or something in this guy. Oh, man, I love that camera angle, how they start that battle. It's just so epic. Like, it just sit sits there for, like, a brief second, and then, like, he cocks his sword and gets ready to fight. Yeah, this is the incarnation of Dark Nuts in this game. I hope you like them, because I know I do, even though they're easy. Oh, I'm going to use your own sword on you. How do you like this? Bam! Oh, yeah, you can take out those pillars with that, too. It's pretty cool. <laughs> why, why is he just walking away? He's like, huh, did I get a bee sting? What? Oh, God, yeah, he's go he goes kung fu on you if he doesn't have a weapon like that. But he's super easy anyways. You probably want to use the grappling hook on those guys, even though literally every time you kill them, they'll drop a knight's crest anyways, but... Just to watch their faces as you steal their knight's crest off them, it's funny. And there you go. First enemy to drop knight's crests, I guess. Actually, pretty much the only enemy to drop knight's crest. And you can smash these pillars. I think you might get some hearts or something out of it. Yeah, there you go. Even if it yields nothing, it's just fun to do this. I mean, why would you not want to do this, man? Just smash everything up. That's a natural gamer instinct. Oh boy, <laughs> oh my god, I can't wait for this, this is so awesome! Yes, the staple, the hero's bow, I love it, man, I so love it. God, <laughs> compared to how early you got this in Majora's Mask and stuff, well, I guess he didn't really get it that early in Ocarina of Time, but still. Good lord, 42, four, well, I'm more than 42 now, but... Alright, and as you might imagine, we've seen these eyes all across this dungeon, and what do you do with an eye in a Zelda game? Only one thing, right? Yeah. Except the eyes don't stick in... Or the arrows don't actually stick in the eyes like I feel they should. But, uh... It's cool anyways. Alrighty. You don't really even really need those platforms. I don't know why they did that. I guess... Well, actually you do, because you need to get the statue across. Doi. Doi, boy. You can take out those bubbles from a distance, too, if you want, but, uh... Oh, dude, oh my god, he just lit up that platform like the 4th of July. It actually just passed not too long ago. It was actually yesterday, in terms of, uh, when I'm recording this. No, I want that heart! It's gonna, it's gonna sink so slowly and pitifully. Well, if it works anything like Link does, then won't it just respawn at the top of the room? But no, it doesn't work that way, because the heart disappears before it gets to the bottom, unfortunately. Yep. That's about how long that cutscene should take. There you go, that's two out of the three. Everything in these Zelda games is threes. It's crazy. Groups of three. Unless this one doesn't talk to us like the other one did. That sucks. I know what he would say though. It's like, my brother, go through the next door to find my kin ship. Or don't. <laughs> I don't know. Mm, yeah, we're gonna have to do a bit of backtracking now too that we got the bow to get some of those eyes that we missed. But for now, I'm just gonna proceed onwards to glory. Oh, no, get out of here. Whoa. Yeah, see, the bow is super effective against those guys. Super. Oh, it's stuck in that eye. Why'd that do? <laughs> it doesn't stick in the big eyes for some reason. I don't know. Mm, there we go. Seems that no matter when you. Sh like. This, that's something that always weirded me out. Is like with this platform in particular that goes up and down here, it seems like the time that you shoot the eye, like the time, like depending on where the platform that you jump to that platform from is, it seems that like you'd have to time it at the right time in order to make sure that they're synchronized enough so you can make that jump. But it seems that no matter where you shoot it from, where like wherever that platform is, and anyways, um, get out of here. Like, it doesn't matter, and you'll always make the jump regardless. So, I don't know. Maybe that's just one of those things that they timed really well. It doesn't seem like you could time... This one, too. Like, no matter where you hit it from. I guess just... The, the speed, I guess you could manipulate that. Mm. That's a little bit tricky. They have to look to the side there to get this chest to appear. Thankfully, this chest isn't even required at all, so... In fact, it's one of the most unrequired things in the game, or one of the most ugly things in the game, eventually. 
Yeah, you got yourself a joy pendant there. You like a joy pendant? Yes, these pendants are said to flock to fucking fu like butterflies and nectar filled blossoms. How many times do I have to see that damn text? Oh my god. Oh, I think I just had a mental breakdown. Oh my. T <laughs> Man, I used to tolerate joy pendants and then I just totally snapped for a second there. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Oh my god, that keys is going for a dive. Well, I don't blame you. It's pretty hot as balls outside right now. Yeah, it's actually gonna be super hot this like this weekend. I don't know. The weekend's probably passed by the time you're seeing this, but well, I don't need it to fight those keys right now. I guess. Yeah, but like it's it's so weird. Like, cause Friday it's supposed to be 28. No, oh, no, Friday's supposed to be 27. Saturday's supposed to be 28. Sunday is supposed to be 29, and Monday is supposed to be 30. It's like totally going up like that on purpose. It totally is. Mother Nature is like playing a mind trick on me or something. Alright, yeah, this is one. Like, you might think, I think if you get it close enough to that edge, you can lower this door up, but somehow it seems easier to throw the ball in there. Okay. This. This room. Oh my god. This is one of the reasons that it took me as long as it did. I'm pretty sure this room alone took me a few days to figure out as a kid because, like, you see these cool statues and you're like, oh my god, I gotta do something with those. I mean, look how funny they look. They got the curly mustaches. They remind you of, like, uh, whatever the dragon's name is in Mulan. But you can't do anything with them. They're just totally stationary and you, like, try everything on them. And while this is a cool room and all, there's really nothing to do. Until you realize that you're supposed to play the Wind Waker here. Which I, I just didn't get that as a kid. Like, because the Wind Waker to me was something. Unless, like, unless, or maybe I did get to play the, like, understand you had to play the Wind Waker there. But I was trying to, like, play the command melody, because it didn't make sense for me to play the Wind's Requiem inside. Because you never do that anyways. Except, like, in these very few instances where you have to. What is this chest anyways? Is, it, is this a tre just a treasure chart? I think it is. Yeah, it is one of two treasure charts in this dungeon. Mm. Alright, yeah. <laughs> Stalling these armos for as long as possible with this cutscene. They're just staring at me. Just like, oh, why don't we attack him right now? There they are. Alright, these guys are so much fun. What I, what you gotta do with these guys, well, you don't have to, but there's a few ways that you can take these guys out, actually. Is, uh, when they're stopped like that, or actually, you don't even have to wait for them to be stopped. Just shoot them with an arrow to open their eye. Or, like, shoot them in, in, the, in the eye with an arrow, I guess. And, uh, that's that. You can, it's basically self-explanatory. I don't even know why I'm explaining it. Just watch how funny they are, though. Like they say, and it's cool because they like even try to kill you after they're or as they're dying because they shoot at their spikes and they home in on you and everything. One of my favorite enemies in, or at least one of my favorite incarnations of Armos in any game, I guess. They're just the coolest. And I think these ones are actually called Armos Knights, and then Armos are actually something else in the game that we're gonna see pretty mom pretty momentarily, actually. Okay. Alright, so now... Uh, yeah, have you noticed this big scale in the middle of the room? I sure didn't. But what you gotta do, obviously, well... You just gotta outweigh it. Just a standard scale puzzle that they tend to use in... Most games. Or a lot of games. Not most, I guess. Mm hmm. And Link does weigh the same as those Armos statues, so... Don't even worry about it. It's not any like complicated formula. Like, yeah, you weigh 1.75 times the weight of a statue, and you have to balance that out or something. Oh my God, this room, not <laughs> frick frack. Okay, cause so you see this switch here, and it it does that. It stops the things, and then it, yeah. So obviously, what they're telling you to do here is that you have to get something to put on this switch, so that you can walk through there and call that guy down, right? Well, no. You're stupid if you think that, because you see this huge block here that I thought you were supposed to, like, push or something to get on it as a kid. But, like, this is just a room that could have been much more well-designed, because, like, I had no idea what to do. I was thinking, like, maybe you have to, like, bomb one of these statues or something or do something or bring something from another room to put on that switch somehow. Like, bring a statue across the scale and put it on here, which you actually can't do. But what you're actually... Well, actually, can you do that? I'm not even going to test it right now. 
what you're actually supposed to do, and I thought I was totally cheating as a kid when I did this, is that you're supposed to just fly across it. Because, like, you get really close. Like, it doesn't look like that's how you're supposed to do that for some reason. Even now, it just looks really awkward. I don't know, I guess this is just one room that they should have designed much better. <laughs> and this guy's got his arms, he's flexing out of his head. Oh, that's so funny. And now you can't get out of here, obviously. You can't fly out of here like you flew in here, so... Gotta be a little bit more clever with, with this one. Actually, a little bit less clever, because you gotta be clever as balls to figure out that deck relief thing. Oh, I guess not that clever. I mean, yeah, and this guy's just immune to the lasers, because uh, he's a stony. There we go. Yeah, so the room is actually really simple the way you solve it, but it can take a while to figure out if you're doing it your first time. I'm not actually sure how long it took Atma to figure that one out, because he did his blind Wind Waker LP. I didn't actually watch most of that. I watched, like, the first half of it, and then for some reason I just stopped. I think I got busy watching something else. Okay. So now you got this statue to deal with, and this statue, again, it, like, weighs the same as everything else, so... <laughs> Man, oh, that counts as... Did I, like, lose a heart, too? I lost a quarter of a heart for doing that, I think. That's hilarious, unless I was already missing a quarter of a heart. Oops. Oh, well. Alright, yeah, so you basically just gotta outweigh now both Link and the statue, and... with Armos. You can just barely make that throw right there to, like, the high platform. You gotta be on the super-duper edge. So naturally you're going to need three of these to make a, that one side heavier. I mean, it's just standard math at this point. Like, is two greater than three? No. So you need three. There you go. Mm, yeah, it's, for, some, for some reason it does that. For some reason when you pick up the statue, you gain momentary weight. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> just throw it at the door. And yeah, it's like, get through there, bitch! Blow up this rainbow-ass door. Mm-hmm. Oh, for some... <laughs> I don't know, as I was glancing at the design on that door, other than the Triforce on it, it looked like Rob the Robot for some reason, the design that was on it. Alright, well that's all three of you dicks. Of you butt heads. Of you flex heads. Oh boy. Now this is cool, man. I guess these guys are supposed to represent the Triforce with their little triangle thingies. There you go. Oh my god, look at how glorious this room is lit now. It's just so perfect. Can I, like, actually look up there and see, like, oh my god, that's beautiful. This freaking tractor beam thing. Never really looked up there. And that's a lot, that's one thing I tend to not do in any video games, really, is look up. Just, just to, like, see the scenery of the roof. Alright, before we head up there, there's a few things I want to quickly backtrack for, though. See ya.